Hello and welcome to the lesson video for sixth grade for Friday, uh, April the 17th. This is going to cover lesson 11.2 in the Go Math book. So uh, in our last lesson, we were working with uh, finding out how our three-dimensional nets would work um, as related to our three-dimensional shapes. Now we are going to add to that finding the area, um, specifically the surface area, of a three-dimensional shape using the strategies that we worked on in the last lesson. So um, I'm going to teach you a trick that's going to kind of cut the length of time down for this in a moment. Um, but to start with, let's pretend that we did this. So if you were to take um, a shape like this and cut it out, um, like for instance, if you look over at the right hand of the screen now, um, where my mouse is moving, to make something that looked like this, but using these dimensions, um, we can figure out what the surface area of the box is. So we are going to have two sides that are going to be four centimeters by six centimeters. We are going to have um, two sides of the shape that are going to look like this and are going to be four centimeters by eight centimeters. And then we are going to have um, the top and bottom are going to be six centimeters by eight centimeters. So two that are four by six, two that are four by eight, two that are six by eight. And so if we break that out into a shape, we have our two eight by sixes, we have our two eight by fours, we have our two four by sixes. And then I have taken the answers to all of the multiplication problems for 4 times 6, 8 times 6, and 8 times 4, and written those out. And I've done both of them in order. Now, um, you're going to see arrows. So I can group together my 48 and 32s to get a multiple of 10. And so that's what I'm going to do. So this one is worth 80, this one is worth 80, and then I have uh, 48 to go. So 80 plus 80 gives me 160, 40 gets me up to 200, and then four plus four would give me eight. So the surface area of my box, as I'm accidentally drawing um, the wrong part of the screen, would be 80 plus 80 plus 40 plus eight, and that would give us 208. And um, kind of going to talk through um, this question here real quick. So how did I use the net? So what I did was I used the net to figure out what the shape should look like and then applied the measurements to it. And then finally, um, I keep dragging in the wrong spot, sorry about that. Um, made the shape, put the measurements with it and use that to help me figure out what the answer would be. Um, so to find the face of each face of the prism without counting the unit squares on the net, um, that would be the trick that I was just mentioning. So I can do two groups of four times six, two groups of four times eight, two groups of six times eight without making a net um, to solve the problem. So let's take a look at our share and show. Um, I am going to uh, mention uh, what you can uh, do to help you with the homework, and then I'm just going to record the homework video uh, separate from this. Um, in the same uh, windows. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we are going to have four by two by three. And so if we want to find the surface area, we are going to have two groups of four times three. So you can see one of those right here. We are going to have two groups of four times two, and that's going to be our top and bottom. And so you can see one of those here. And then we have our sides that would be two by three. And so our net will look like this, and you can actually just count the number of squares. So um, section A is going to be worth eight, which means section F is also going to be worth eight. Section B is going to be worth six, which means section D is also going to be worth six. And then we are gonna have section C and E that are both 12. And so I can group my 12 and eight together to get to 20. This will also give me 20, so that gets me up to 40, 46, 52. And then um, for number three, 
what we actually have is a shape that all of the six sides are 10 by 10. So take a moment and think about what the answer to 10 by 10 is, or 10 times 10, and how much six of those sides would be. And I'll give you a moment to pause the video. And then when you're ready, go ahead and hit play. And that is going to give us 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 for the other side, plus 100 for the back side that's not showing, and 100 for the bottom, which is not showing. So six groups of 10 times 10 would give us 600. And again, because we are working um, with area, um, it's going to be uh, 600 centimeters squared. So really quick, let me talk you through what I want you to do for the homework in case you are seeing this beforehand. Um, so for number two, all they need you to do is find the answer. So you can find the answer by counting up the number of squares or you could figure out the measurement. So um, that one is pretty self-explanatory. For number four, you can find this one without making a net that looks like this. So two of the sides are gonna be five times one, two of the sides are gonna be four times one, and two of the sides are going to be five times four, okay? And those were the only two problems uh, for that part. Um, number six, we can use the same strategy. So you're gonna have two groups of six times two, we're gonna have two groups of six times 14, and we're gonna have two groups of two times 14. So you can do those three problems, make sure you have the correct number so that you're adding six numbers together, and that gives you your answer for number six. And then we can do something very similar for number one and number two on the back. You can do two, uh, two groups of 10 times seven, two groups of 10 times eight, two groups of eight times seven, and add those together. And then the last one, two groups of five times three, two groups of five times two, two groups of three times two. So that's what we're working with for today. Um, and I'll go ahead and record the answers to the homework video. So I will probably actually just include this with the lesson itself since they're both going to go, um, well, this one, nor the homework video would normally go live at 6 p.m., but I don't think there's any reason to not just include that. This, um, if you get the idea of why we're doing what we're doing, um, this will make sense, and it's just a matter of making sure that paying attention to detail um, so that you don't make mistakes in either multiplication or adding the correct number of sides together. So um, I hope this makes sense for you. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to post in Google Classroom. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.